In this video, I'm going to talk about the pressure volume loop of the cardiac cycle. So the pressure volume loop relates to the pressure and the volume of blood within the left ventricle. So I'll just draw out an example of a heart here with the valves and the inlets and outlets. And here's the right atrium, the right ventricle, the left atrium and the left ventricle. And blood flows through these four chambers, kind of like this. Going via the lungs from the right ventricle to the left atrium. Now we're going to concentrate on the left ventricle. So I'm going to draw up a more schematic version of the left ventricle here. So this is the left ventricle, and blood comes in from the left atrium like this. So the valve at the bottom of the left ventricle is closed and the one at the top is open. The valve at the bottom is the aortic valve, and the valve at the top is the bicuspid valve, or the mitral valve. So we're going to map on a graph the pressure of the left ventricle versus the volume of the left ventricle. Now this graph can be a bit confusing because it doesn't have a time axis. So what we're looking at is as the blood fills in to the left ventricle, we get more volume but not really a change in pressure. So I'll label this one. The pressure goes up a little bit as it starts to fill. The next step is the closure of the mitral valve. And so the left ventricle is full of blood here but both valves are closed. Meanwhile, the left ventricle is contracting. So there's no change in volume because the blood can't get in or out, but the pressure goes up. And that's what I've shown on this graph here. The next step is the opening of the aortic valve. Remember that the left ventricle is still contracting, so the pressure still goes up a little bit, but the volume starts to go down. So on my pressure volume curve, I'll show less volume and more pressure until even the pressure starts to level off. The last step is the closure of the aortic valve. And the relaxation of the left ventricle. This means that there's no change in volume because no blood is moving in but the pressure is going right down. Sorry, I'll just put these in here. So that's step three and step four. The left ventricle is then ready to complete this cycle again. Now, two important points that come up in the textbooks all the time. Are the point of isovolumetric contraction and isovolumetric relaxation. This means that the volume stays the same, but the pressure changes. And these are points 
2 and 4 on this graph. And that's an overview of the pressure volume loop.